What's going on guys? Taylor with Big Red Lawns. Hey, I just want to uh, take a quick minute here to talk about uh, one of the things I've been hearing a lot about on podcasts and stuff. Um, and a lot of it was talking about like what kind, what kind of time you should be done, uh, all your properties in a day, you know, when you should call it quits for the day, you know, how many days a week you should, uh, you should be working. And I don't think that's a topic that a whole lot of people talk about uh, all too often. So I definitely think, uh, you know, someone should touch base on it. I'm just going to give you guys what my ideas are uh, and, you know, comment below what you think. Um, you know, I'm open to ideas. I'm on uh, year three in total, uh, year one full time, and I'm trying to make it work with the family and stuff. But uh, stay tuned and we'll jump into it. Alright guys, so one of the things that I know a lot of people, you know, say, will say a lot is that work-life balance. Um, you know, me personally, I got done where I was working so I could spend more time with my family and have a little more, you know, free range on that. Uh, I know a lot of people will say that there's money out there to be had and they'll just, you know, work themselves to death. And a lot of the times that may work for them and that's where they find that they need to hire more people. I personally am trying to find someone already. Uh, I have four days of mowing uh, I get done about if I do you know each day the way they are I'm at the first property by you know eight o'clock is usually when I'm you know starting the mower up I try to be a little respectful because I do have quite a bit of uh, residentials uh, my commercials I can start earlier uh, I just choose not to uh, unless we get to the hotter day typically when I'm uh, mowing on the hotter days you know I'll start a little bit earlier but I still get done about two o'clock or so every day two to three depending on you know what time of year it is obviously the spring we had a lot of rain up here in vermont uh northeast in general and uh, i think we were double mowing just about every property so you know it was a uh, we were getting done you know 3 30 4 o'clock depending on on what day it was but i've tried to you know narrow those uh, days down to about a two three o'clock end time now my wife's still at work the kids are still at daycare i come home i try to get done you know my billing i try to get done uh, maintenance on the machine stuff like that so that way I can spend that time when they are home uh, with them now granted that doesn't always work out you know we've had so much rain I think a lot of the season here I've gotten home um, I'd say pretty average about that three o'clock we've gotten so much rain that the days that I couldn't mow I'd have to make uh, play catch up with it uh, and mow either another day later or mow on the weekends and you know the idea Originally with a three to four day mow schedule was not to mow on the weekends um, So I could have the weekends off with my family Obviously mother nature kind of dictates our schedule One of the things that I do try to do though is if I'm gonna play a makeup day I try to do no more than two uh, makeup days, you know, obviously during the week um, I try to keep it to a minimum. I might have someone come out and help me or something like that uh, If I get really behind, but I mean I've definitely been out there. I'd say probably Probably three or four times uh, so far this year. I've been out mowing till, you know, I'd be at a commercial property that has good uh, parking lot lights and stuff like that, mowing at 9, 9.30, uh, you know, backing into the driveway at 10 o'clock at night. Now, it's not ideal, but we have to do what we have to do, right? I mean, that's just kind of the way it is. What I will say is, you know, if you're, if you're single, you know, you're a young kid, single, you want to work, work, work do go for it you know spend as much time in the field as you want but don't get upset when you lose a girlfriend or you get a girlfriend and they don't last very long because you spend all your time working now my wife is very um, I say lenient with me she kind of lets me do my own thing when it comes to this she knows I'm gonna do what's best for the family uh, so I do spend as much time as possible with them fourth uh, of July we took off I took a, a longer weekend I'm playing catch up for it now but it is what it is um, you know just don't overexert yourself you know I, I probably work about 90 plus hours a week um, but then when it's family time it's family time the phone goes away the work phone stays either in the truck or inside or I put it on silent or I turn it off honestly um, you know it, it's just you got to do these things to to make sure you got that that home life um, and something that uh, that's sustainable, you know, especially with a, a young family. You know, I've got 
two young kids, a three and a half year old uh, and an almost four month old uh, now actually. Um, so it's a lot, you know, I, I wanna have time to spend time with them. You know, we just bought a house. I wanna have time to do the landscaping and stuff here because it desperately needs it. Um, it's been neglected <laughs> for a long time, but we're getting there. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are just my two cents, you know, take it or leave it. Let me know what you think down in the comments, what, what you guys think, um, you know, a good work schedule is. And, you know, I know there's people out there that say if it's, if it, the sun's up, there's work to be done. You know, if you're getting done at two, find something else to do. Um, and I guess I do, you know, I might, you know, grab a, an adult beverage, a cigar and, you know, hang out for a little bit and then start working on the mower, changing blades out, stuff like that. But I mean, other than that, I'm done two, three o'clock back in the driveway. I don't like being out there all night. Sometimes it's what you got to do. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep the family together, do what's best for the family and have a good time doing it. You know, going full time this year has been a, a huge uh, step for the business. Uh, I think we're definitely there and okay to do it. Um, and we're, we're making it work as we go. There's a lot of stuff to learn, but just my two cents. Like I said, if you guys have any other thoughts, let me know. Uh, and hopefully this was a helpful video. See ya.